Yo, what's happening? It's your man OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today, another special video. What's good? What's happening, YouTube? It's your man OG Bo Beats, and I'm back with another video for you today. So, today I got some stock news, some updates on my Apple journey. Just a couple things. I know it's been a while since I did a video talking about stocks. I've just been chilling, laying low, watching my money increase, but I just want to give you all a quick update. So, right now, what you see on the screen is an option call that I did for Apple yesterday and I was able to make around $540 uh, total profits in a few minutes give or take and I'm explain how I did that so before we get started I just want to say please make sure you like subscribe to the channel share the video whatever watch comment you know holla at your boy But look, this is not advice to buy, hold, or sell anything. I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing and, and uh, you know, how I get down. So I do invest long term, but I also play stock options from time to time. Uh, very small, you know, uh, count. So I'm not doing like multiple day trades all day long. I just do what I can do. All right. So I got a lot of my technical analysis and strategy from watching and being a part of Keenan Grace's Discord. Big shout out to Keenan Grace. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a Apple call option I did. All right, I want you to see the time at the top says 9.32. So I was in and out of this thing very quickly. However, I did purchase these contracts the day before. So I want to show you real quick. So at the top, you see your position. And then you see I actually had 20 contracts. The average cost of each contract was 24 cents or $24 because you know you multiply that the price of the contract times 100. So the date I bought it was November 7th. All right, so that was just the day before. And uh, let me see, the current price when I sold these contracts was $51, which was pretty much a double a hundred percent at rather uh, of my money so um yeah expiration date was november 10th so as you can see the break-even price was 185 and it got up to 183 and i sold out and took profits i wasn't greedy i've been learning my lesson on trying to be too greedy set my stop losses it stopped me out at 51 cent and then boom there you have it a, a quick profit so if you don't know how to do stock options, if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, like I said, check out some of my previous videos where I talk about stock options. I talk about dollar cost averaging and I talk about, um, you know, a lot of different things that people generally don't know. Also, like I said, go check out Keenan Grace. I recommend the Stock Squad, Stocks with Josh, Larry Jones, Stock Mo, and then my boy Chris Sane as well. So I just wanted to get, show you all this real quick, man. Nothing, nothing major, but this is a big you know big win for a guy like me 500 bucks in a, in a matter of minutes actually i did this while i was at work but the real reason we're here today is because i wanted to give y'all an update on my apple journey so let me go ahead and get that up for you all right so right now we're looking at apple stock so let me give you the, the quick breakdown of history if this is your first time like i said make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel so i've been investing dollar cost investing in apple since the beginning of 2022 so years before that i was just like a lot of people kind of when i got into to stocks i was doing a lot of meme stocks i was doing a lot of get rich quick trying to you know buy this stock based on the price and it was low so i could buy a bunch of them and thinking everything was going to work out so i finally got over doing all of that and i said let me just start investing so I got this idea from watching Larry Jones. He talks about the five dollar a day challenge, uh, Chris Sane hundred K challenge, and then you know my boy Keenan Grace also talks about the challenge of five dollars a day or whatever the case. So basically, ask yourself, can you invest five dollars a day, right, or whatever you can invest? So I want to break it down. A cup of coffee. You stopping at Dunkin' Donuts buying donuts. You buying lunch at fast food restaurants every day. You stopping at the store. You going on your break for lunch and spending five, ten dollars in the vending machine, but yet you're not investing any money. So I, I had that mindset where I can definitely do five dollars. So in 2022, I started in January 2022. I started investing five dollars a day, but I was doing it weekly, every Friday. So 
Seven times five is thirty-five dollars. So I would I would have a thirty-five dollar reoccurring payment set up in my Robinhood account to buy Apple. So I did that for about half of the year, and then second half of the year I said, you know what? This is too easy. This is going good. I like it because I'm not thinking about it. I'm not debating on whether I should buy it this week or not. So I went up to seven dollars in mid 2022. And then at the beginning of this year, I said, you know what? I'm going to do $10. So I was doing $10, $70 a week. Um, I wasn't missing it at all. And then midway through this year, or maybe even a little before, I decided to go to $12. So that's where I've been at, $84 a week. And I'm going to show you what it got me. So right now, let's break down Apple real quick. So currently, as of today, Apple is $182.45. It's down slightly in the pre-market. But Apple has been on a tear in the last few weeks if you've been paying attention all right so in the last week apple is up 4.26 percent or seven dollars and 45 cents that's major if you if you know you know i used to look at these numbers and think oh that's not a lot four percent but that's a lot especially when you start to get a lot of quantity of the shares any little movement up is always good all right so then in the last month it's up almost three percent for five dollars Last three months is up uh, almost a percent or 0.8987%. And then year to date, right? Meaning from January to now, it's up 40% for 52 bucks. So if you had to start investing in January this year, like I told a couple of my friends to do, uh, you would be up a lot of money depending on how much money you was putting in. But either way, you'd be up money. And then for the whole year, it's up. So Apple is just up, right? It's one of my favorite stocks. This is my my biggest long-term play I, I don't plan on selling my apple i'm gonna hold it hold it hold it so let's go ahead and look at what i've done in 40 and so this is week 45 of 52 for this year but remember i started in 2022 so currently i have a market value of seven thousand nine hundred and thirty two dollars i have an average price of 161 like i said the current price is 182 so you know not too bad uh and then i have 43.47 or just say 43 and a half shares of apple i like to round it off i usually do i, don't, I just haven't done it yet i'm waiting till my to my um to my purchase tomorrow so uh and a total return and profit of 906 dollars or 12 percent so because of just dollar cost averaging meaning that i don't care what the price of apple is Every Friday since the beginning of 2022, I purchased it. And because I've done that and I and I got a long-term vision on Apple, I'm up 12, almost 13%. It's that simple. So imagine doing this over the span of five years, 10 years, 20 years. A lot of people been doing this kind of stuff. So you got to catch up if you haven't already started doing what you got to do, if this is something you want to get into. So another thing I want to show you, is I'm gonna show you my weekly purchase. Like I said, I'm at $12 a day. So you can see right here uh, at the bottom, Apple weekly buy brokerage tomorrow, which is Friday, $84. Like I'm not playing. Every every Friday, I got a, uh, something coming out. Next year, starting 2024, I'm gonna bump it up to $15, which is gonna be about $5,500 for the whole year. All right, so I'm not playing any games. And I think Apple is gonna continue to grow and grow. It's a great company. iPhones ain't going anywhere. Mac computers, all this new technology is coming out. So I'm rocking with Apple. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted to show you. Give you a quick update. Uh, regardless of what you're investing in, I I, re I recommend to start off with something solid like a, a ETF, like VTI, the Spy, Apple, uh, you know, Microsoft, Tesla, some of the big dogs. Put your money in them. Nvidia. You know but you got to know what you're doing so just take it slow learn teach yourself but i just wanted to give you all this this quick update like i said if you want to learn more about options check out some of my other videos uh go go look at keenan grace's page join the discord and it's all good man we just trying to make money over here we trying to we trying to live so that's all i got for today man it's your man og bo beats make sure you check out my other videos you know i got the sneakers and all of that stuff i got a couple cool videos coming up with some re recent sneakers i got um, and you can do both, you know. Yeah, I spend a lot of money on sneakers, but I, I collect, I buy, I sell. So it's not what you might think, all right? But 
Uh, other than that, man, make sure you like to the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, leave a comment. It's your man OG Bo Beats, and I'm out. Peace.